Right now at 5, jury selection gets underway in the first criminal trial for former President Donald Trump. Why prosecutors want to hold him in contempt. But first, an alert day in the forecast for tomorrow. Alex tracking the timing of heavy rain, strong winds, and severe thunderstorms tomorrow. And how UW-Madison police are trading in vehicle violations for repair vouchers. The details on a new program helping car owners get free fixes. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. It's about 5 o'clock, and here's a live look at the Beltline as the evening commute gets underway. Another warm day today. But by this time tomorrow, severe weather will begin to make its way through southern Wisconsin. Heavy rain, strong winds, and thunderstorms are all possible tomorrow. As we mentioned, that alert day in the forecast. First Warren Weather Team has been tracking this system since last week to keep you informed with how it could impact your day tomorrow. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington joins us now with the timing on all this, Alex. Eric, Susan, yes, we have been tracking this for the better part of a week, and this is a snapshot here. This is not now. This is tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. Look off towards the west of the Mississippi River, a line of thunderstorms. Some of these are going to be severe as they move more towards the east. Coming up at the 6 o'clock show, I'm going to tell you why these easterly winds may impact this line of severe thunderstorms, making some of the severe threats maybe staying a little bit further to the south and towards the west. Nonetheless, we all are going to see thunderstorms as we go on into your Tuesday night. Lighting up the sky from Camp Douglas to the Dells down to Madison, Janesville at about 9 o'clock at night. And then that batch scoots out towards the east. We may get a break. The warm air comes in perhaps late in the evening, not during the day. High temperatures might occur in the evening and overnight with one more line of thunderstorms moving through as you move into your Wednesday morning at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning that we got to keep an eye on as well for the potential for severe weather in that line. Right now, this is all of southern Wisconsin, still high winds, hail, an isolated tornado threat. This is for Tuesday afternoon going on into your Tuesday evening with the better threats just south and west of Madison, Prairie du Chien to Platteville to Darlington to Monroe stand the better chances for the more widespread severe thunderstorm activity. And I think that is where the potential tornado threat will be, if not towards the south and towards the west. Coming up in Maine weather, we're also going to be tracking the amount of water that we can expect from these alert day conditions. All right, Alex, thank you. And while this weekend's warm April temperatures were very nice to enjoy, they did create a heightened risk of wildfires. And Kyle Pazorski is in Boscobel with a DNR fire ranger and how they're working to keep our forests and the public safe. This weekend's fire seen throughout the state is a good reminder to always stay vigilant while burning. It's part of the reason why the DNR is constantly on standby at ranger stations just like this. Every morning we come in and we do a daily check on all of our equipment. That's Boscobel's DNR fire ranger Ralph Sheffer sharing with News 3 Now the process the Wisconsin DNR's ranger stations go through each day. It's an extensive one, all to stay prepared for the worst. And make sure everything is working. Light sirens, pumps, we're full of water. Everything is all gassed up, ready to go. He tells me on the heels of heavy rain last week and more in the coming days, many might not think there is a risk. However, there is still one, even if your backyard looks green. So they do green up fairly quickly. That's not typically as big of an issue. Um, it's when you get into our, our natural grasses, our marsh grasses, things like that. Um, we need to be careful out there. Which is why knowing the risk is half the battle. According to the state agency, 37 wildfires burned on Saturday, spreading to more than 300 acres. This was the worst wildfire day so far of the year, prompting the DNR to raise the danger levels across all the state. But in order to fight each blaze, loads of manpower is necessary, with many Wisconsinites becoming part-time workers to help in keeping our natural resources and the public safe. We have a number of folks that do that, um, which then you can be put on prescribed burns, controlled burns, or doing suppression. Reporting in Boscobel, Kyle Zorski, News 3 Now. After four generations, the Metcalf family is selling their three-store grocery chain in Madison and Wauwatosa. Spartan Nash will take over operations yet this spring. That company operates stores in nine states. Four of them are in Wisconsin, including the Fresh Madison Market in University Square at the corner of University and Johnson. The Metcalf storefronts and employees will remain the same. The current owners, Tim and Kevin Metcalf's grandparents, founded the operation way back in 1917 with a store over in the Milwaukee area. And then their dad, Tom Metcalf, 
bought the Monona Century Store in 1969. Turning now to a major national story involving former President Donald Trump. Pre-trial arguments and jury selection started today in his hush money trial. It is the first ever criminal trial of a former U.S. president. Jared Hill is at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with what we've learned on day one. Returning from a lunch break, a thumbs up from former President Trump as he began the second half of day one in his hush money trial. It's the first of four criminal trials the Republican presidential candidate faces. Earlier, he slammed the proceedings, which could take more than six weeks. This is really an attack on a political opponent. That's all it is. Trump faces 34 felony counts, accused of falsifying business records to hide payments former fixer Michael Cohen made to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 presidential election. Trump has pleaded not guilty. This is an assault on America. Monday afternoon, the first batch of 96 potential jurors enter the courtroom. More than 500 Manhattan residents are there to be considered for the 12 spots. The lengthy juror questionnaire asks if they've ever attended a Trump rally or if they follow the former president on social media. The defense is very interested in seeing if they can show that through the jury selection that they can't really get people who might be quote unquote fair and impartial they will continue to move for a change of venue. Prosecutors asked the judge to hold Trump in contempt for allegedly violating his gag order with four social media posts attacking Stormy Daniels and Michael Cohen, both potential witnesses. Prosecutors want the posts removed and Trump to pay a fine. They've asked the judge to remind Trump that he could be jailed for further violations. The former president's defense claimed he was only responding to attacks, but the judge said he did not recall an exception to the gag order. Jared Hill. CBS News, New York. San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge is back open tonight after an hours-long closure earlier today when pro-Palestinian supporters protested on the bridge blocking traffic. The closure was first reported shortly after 8 a.m. California Highway Patrol was able to reopen the bridge shortly after noon. A judge in New Mexico has sentenced the armorer on the movie Rust to 18 months in prison. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed was convicted of involuntary manslaughter last month in the deadly shooting of 42-year-old Helena Hutchins, the film cinematographer. At her sentencing, a visibly emotional Gutierrez Reed listened to victim impact statements from Hutchins' family and friends. Alec Baldwin was holding the prop gun on the set of the film back in 2021 when it fired a live round of ammunition during rehearsal, killing Hutchins and wounding director Joel Souza. Baldwin, who maintains his innocence, was charged with involuntary manslaughter, and he's set to stand trial in July. Governor Tony Evers has declared this week Work Zone Awareness Week in Wisconsin. As the weather is getting nicer, you'll likely see more construction crews out on the roads. It's important to travel at speeds that will keep them safe. According to the DOT, there were more than 2,100 crashes in work zones last year, resulting in nine deaths and more than 700 injuries. Each day, our roadside workers put themselves in potentially dangerous situations to make our roads and communities better. Like all workers, they have the right to a safe working environment. According to WISDOT, speeding, tailgating, and distracted driving are listed as the common factors in work zone accidents. UW-Madison police are hoping to write fewer citations. It's thanks to a new partnership allowing them to offer coupons for vehicle repairs. Here's how it works. When a UWPD officer pulls over a vehicle in a traffic stop or a violation for something like a burned out light bulb or tail light or broken turn signal, officers can issue vouchers for vehicle repairs. It's all made possible thanks to a partnership with Lights On, that's a program that partners with law enforcement and auto shops to replace traffic tickets with repair vouchers. It's great for building partnerships, but also uh, recognizing that our goal is not just to be out writing uh, citations. Our goal is really to uh, improve the safety of the community and do it in an equitable manner. Another goal of the program is to further enhance police community relationships. It is tax day, and if you haven't filed, Obviously, time is running out. But the good news is that even with today's deadline, there are still options before being penalized for failing to file on time. If that's you, Ivan Rodriguez shares what you need to do. Tax day is here, and if you haven't filed yet, you're not alone. But experts say if you haven't started, you may actually want to wait. 
Haste makes waste. And when we rush to do things, that's when mistakes can happen. Mistakes will either cost you refunds, tax dollars, or may cause you problems from the IRS later. Tom O'Sabin with the National Association of Tax Professionals recommends filing a six-month extension by midnight to give you and your tax preparer the opportunity to prepare it correctly. But in order to avoid mounting penalties, O'Sabin advises it's best to send a payment to the IRS before the deadline that best approximates what you think is due. Taking a look at last year's tax return could help. If you owe money and you don't have that postmark today, the IRS is going to charge you interest and, you know, failure to pay penalties that are going to start assessing tomorrow. If you're afraid you can't pay, O'Sabin says filing is still critical. The IRS wants to work with you to get your tax obligation satisfied. And in doing that, the first thing they've got to have is the tax return. And for those late filers who are due a refund, there are no penalties for missing the deadline and possibly some benefits. You can wait up to three years after the original due date to file your return. And not only will the IRS give you your refund, they'll pay you interest on that refund. But make sure you file before the three years is up. Otherwise, you forfeit your refund. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. More stories ahead at 5, including a Grammy Award-winning comedian coming to Madison later this year. Plus, a new report has found that Americans are struggling to save money. The factors at play as to why less money is going into the bank. And it is a tax day slide of sorts on Wall Street. The Dow tumbling another 248 points. The Nasdaq off more than 290. The S&P loses almost 62. We'll be right back. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on April 19th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. With Sweet O Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweet O Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of Four Imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out fourimprint.com. Four Imprint for certain. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Birkenstock ushers in a new collection with clean lines, easier than ever closures, and the most necessary footbed in your closet. Slide into Morgan's Shoes and shop our new Birkenstock arrivals. See what's fresh for spring and summer. Birkenstock platforms and wedges, cork-powered sneakers, or up your game with our iconic men's and women's sandals. Comfort with style. Trust your feet to Morgan's Shoes. Morgan Shoes, Hildale. Honda you want is here. Driving the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. <laughs> I want fresh air. <laughs> you need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for six years. Call 866 for Felco. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Tracking the latest on a line of possible severe thunderstorms expected Tuesday afternoon at 6. You can expect them in your town. And we reveal why Wisconsin teachers are leaving their classrooms. Here an educator speak out on the untenable situation that's tonight at 6. Wednesday at 10, a massive renovation project creates chaos for residents of an affordable housing complex in Beloit. Last month, I showed you their concerns. Now others are speaking out. I'm going back to the top for answers. Wednesday at 10. 
You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Grammy-winning comedian Louis Black will be coming to Madison this fall. He'll perform at the Capitol Theater at the Overture Center on Saturday, October 19th at 8 p.m. It's part of a nationwide tour. Tickets go on sale this Friday at 11 a.m. For more information, look for this story on channel3000.com. Before retiring, rapper Childish Gambino says he has two more albums in the works. The first album has actually already been released. It's called 31520. Gambino, the stage name of Donald Glover, says that album was rushed out during the pandemic and never mastered or mixed. So he's going to do that and then release it under a new name. And then he'll release an album that will serve as a soundtrack to his upcoming film. Americans are saving less money. That's according to government data, which found the personal savings rate fell to 3.6% in February. That is the lowest level in more than a year. As to why people are saving less, there are several factors. Could just be a continuation of a long-term trend. Historically, Americans do tend to save less after a recession, but there are other factors. Pandemic-related stimulus plus a lack of spending during shutdowns, they think caused savings to build up a bit during the pandemic. We'll check out this video from Friday last week, a large dust devil. This is along famous Route 66, Western Arizona, flinging debris everywhere. The National Weather Service says these form in an area of strong surface heating, usually between two different surface types, such as asphalt and dirt during clear skies and light winds. No dust devils in Wisconsin. Wind, though, could be a concern as we track potential severe weather tomorrow. Here's Alex with the latest. Yeah, indeed, Eric. We may be looking at something a little bit more, uh, it, more important to talk about in regards to dust devils versus tornadoes tomorrow evening. Again, those dust devils can pack a punch, but our weather tomorrow night is probably going to pack a couple extra punches than that. You didn't think anything like that is coming in our forecast right now. Quiet tonight. It's that calm before alert day conditions on your Tuesday and cooler next week. We transition from the really, really warm stuff to the really, really cold stuff. Something's got to happen in between. Something's got to give and it's that weather system to produce the alert day conditions. Gorgeous night tonight, but just want to remind folks it is very dry out there right now. We have 80 degrees in Boscobel. We were going for highs near 70. You might be wondering, well, what happened? Even though I like it, it's in the middle to upper 70. 70s, we have dry air in place. Dry air heats up and cools down really, really quickly. And we weren't expecting this level of dry air across the area. So the bonus is we actually got a warmer day today. Warm air is going to be one of the ingredients during our six o'clock show that I'm going to talk about as being a factor that we're going to be tracking. If we don't get enough warm air, it could impact our alert day widespread aspect of our severe weather. Still confident that all of southern Wisconsin will be impacted. High winds and hail are the greatest threats, although we cannot rule out the possibility of a tornado. And this would be Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. I'm going to line up here for you. Prairie to Sheen to over towards Dodgeville, south and west of Madison, over towards Janesville points off towards the south and towards the west stand the better chances right now of having the more widespread severe thunderstorm activity. That does not mean that communities like Richland Center, uh, Baraboo, Madison, up towards Lodi and over towards Jefferson are not going to see the potential for severe weather. It's just that the threat is just a little bit less, but this is a situation we need to keep a close tabs on. Future Track is doing a br brilliant job capturing the showers and thunderstorms eyeing up the Mississippi River right at this time tomorrow night, four or five o'clock. Look at those thunderstorms marching across from southwest to northeast as our temperatures climb to about 60 degrees. That warm air finally makes it up into to the area. We need that warm air to provide the fuel for these thunderstorms lining up around 9 o'clock from Camp Douglas all the way down to Madison to Janesville. All severe weather threats again are possible with large hail and damaging winds being the greatest threats. Perhaps a break and then one more line to end the weather system as it finally swings through during the morning hours on your Wednesday. Total amounts of water could be very high with our dry conditions. Boy, do we need this water. It's just we don't need the severe weather. Widespread, three quarters of an inch to an inch, perhaps some isolated two, three inch amounts across 
portions of southern Wisconsin. Let's recap all that information here. Severe thunderstorms possible Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. All hazards are possible, especially southwest of Madison. Heavy rain, certainly not out of the realm of possibility as well, especially if you get a couple of persistent showers and storms over the same area. We call that training. This weather system moves out on Wednesday. I promise the cooler temperatures as we transition from really, really warm to temperatures below normal by the time we get to next weekend, and then we turn active again in the following work week. We appreciate those weather photos, but I'm going to emphasize here before day before alert day, do not jeopardize your safety. Only do it when it's safe. Channel 3000.com slash weather. All right, traffic time. Let's see how things are going out in the Beltline right now. At a good clip, westbound and eastbound. Speed limit is, uh, is about 60 out there, 55, 60, and things are going at a good clip. And as we swing down towards Janes, we probably have the windows open. Things are going at 70 miles per hour, and that's where we would expect things speed wise and around 70 miles per hour. But again, heads up tomorrow night, we have the severe thunderstorms to move into the area. So I encourage people get home if, as soon as you can right after that rush hour. All right, Alex, thank you. Still ahead of five golf's biggest. Masters winner, Scotty Scheffler is once again wearing the green jacket. And he's not concerned about traffic. <laughs> no, there, there he is. is. There he is. We'll look, uh, look back at his master's victory when we come back. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I'd love to thank everyone at Gruber for taking time and being patient with me. Thank you. I'm just really, really grateful. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Gruber, thanks. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Thank you very much. Get an 11% rebate on your kitchen upgrade with help from an arts. Clearview is flexible by design, so you can go from doors to drawers for storage that works at every stage. And the style is so easy to update, you can do it in a snap, meaning you don't have to remodel your space to make it work even better. Get these Stroma Kitchen Cabinets for $25.29 after 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Watch this, it's all 100% real. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. Nothing has been doctored or tampered with. The very real problem will disappear before your eyes and hers with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes and the effects will last for hours and hours. Over 1 million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags. It works on sagging jowls, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. In just minutes, you can restore and beautify your face, even look years younger. And the look will last all day or all evening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I'm just in love with the mirror right now. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Prove It Plexiderm trial. You'll see why our customers describe Plexiderm with three words. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. Operators are standing by. Like a bowl of cherries, life in Attic Angel is healthy and sweet. Our independent and assisted living lifestyles include newly renovated apartments, engaging social activities, and wellness support that is tailored to you. As time marches on, we promote the idea that life can always be a bowl of cherries. Attic Angel Community, the house that angels built. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. There's no limit. 800-588-2300, Empire Today. Gruber Law Office. One call, that's all. 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 Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. One call, that's all. Watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward.
In a little more than an hour, the WNBA draft gets underway in Brooklyn, New York, broadcast on ESPN. Yeah, a lot of people paying attention oh, yeah. this year. No surprise who is expected to go number one. That would be Iowa Hawkeyes star Caitlin Clark. She has been everywhere lately. Did you see her on SNL on Saturday night? Not bad. Now, the Indiana Fever have the number one pick, so Caitlin Clark will likely stay in the Midwest. The Fever recognized the impact of drafting Caitlin Clark, too, of course. Just last week, by the way, it was announced that 36 of the Fever's 40 games will be nationally televised. We know why that is, and you'll be able to see two of those games right here on CBS this summer. The WNBA and CBS came to an agreement to broadcast eight games this summer, and we will carry the Indiana Fever hosting the Chicago Sky on June 16th and Indiana's game against New York. That's July 6th. The Las Vegas Aces, the defending WNBA champions, will have two of their games broadcast in August. Well, today, the world's number one golfer is standing alongside some of the greatest names in Masters history. Scotty Scheffler won the green jacket for the second time in three years yesterday, pulling away from the field in the final nine holes. Omar Villafranca is at Augusta National Golf Club with more on Scheffler's win. His stardom confirmed. It was the Scotty Scheffler show at the Masters on Sunday. The world number one steamrolled the competition. 27 years old, and could life be any sweeter? Earning the second green jacket of his career. Did my best to stay calm out there. I uh, tried to stay patient on the course and was able to to make some key shots and key putts today to kind of keep my round going. Scheffler's closest competitor was 24-year-old Swede Ludwig Ober. Ober for birdie. Who was playing in his first major tournament. But the pressure didn't phase him. Yes! Who needs experience? As the Swede was looking to win the Masters at his Augusta National debut. The last to do that was Fuzzy Zeller in 1979. Despite Oberg's impressive display, Scheffler showed why he's golf's top player. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nailing seven birdies in the final round. To get to eight under. Including one on the 16th hole. Why not? Why not get in the hole? That call by legendary CBS broadcaster Vern Lundquist in his 40th and final Masters tournament. And for Scheffler, the victory was extra special. His wife, Meredith, is nine months pregnant. How do you put this in the words? You win the Masters, you're about to be a father for the first time. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, you're about to make me cry here in Butler Cabin. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's a very, very special time for both of us. I can't put into words what it means to win this tournament again. I, I really can't put it into words what it's going to be like to be a father for the first time. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Augusta, Georgia. Stay with us. Alex has a final check of your first worn forecast when we come back. Make entertaining and enjoying your home extraordinary with the luxurious look of Pella. At Pella, we see windows differently with the highest energy efficient products and range of options that add long lasting value to your home. From sleek design, custom colors, and long lasting durability, getting the style and functionality you want has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Visit PellaWI.com today. We wanted to be able to enjoy all four seasons, and patio enclosures helped us make that dream come true. The one and only patio enclosures. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth with the power swabs. I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started
started with power swaps. I like my smile. This is a power swap smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus, get free shipping. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. It's our lowest prices of the season at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Right now, shop unbeatable deals on the things you need for spring. Like $250 instant savings on this new Cub Cadet Hydro Lawn Tractor. Stock up and save on 20-pound bags of Blaine's brand Easy Scoop Cat Litter, four for 24 bucks. And get a free bag of estate garden fertilizer when you buy a bag of new estate premium 4-in-1 lawn treatment. Don't miss our lowest prices of the season in-store or online at farmandfleet.com. Alex returns. One final check of the forecast. Yes, it's going to be loud, thundery by this point tomorrow night. Alert day conditions really will be unfolding by 4 o'clock tomorrow night, 5 o'clock tomorrow night over southwest Wisconsin, then the rest of southern Wisconsin during the evening hours with the threat of large hail, damaging winds, that isolated tornado chance. We all stand the chance of at least getting a decent amount of water. That's the trade-off. We need that water. It's just we don't need the severe weather. Let's break that severe weather down. Again, severe storms Tuesday evening, maybe carrying on into the overnight night best chances for the stronger storms south and west of Madison, but that could change. Dial in tonight at 6 and at 10, and Kelly tomorrow morning will get, keep you up on the latest of where these frontal systems are going to set up for the severe weather. All right, we'll be back in 30 minutes for News 3 now at 6. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News.